lovely Sagittarians. This is Debs and this is your reading for mid-June 2024. Saggy, I hope you guys are well. It is lovely to be with you. Now, Sag, in meditation, I saw someone um, in an apartment who was being trailed by someone else. So, Sag, let's say it's you, right? I saw you wandering around this apartment, trying to avoid someone who wanted to talk. First of all, you put your hairdryer on and you shouted through the noise of the hairdryer, uh, sorry, can't talk, can't hear you, it's too noisy, uh, yeah, sorry, not a good time. The next time I saw you, this person was still following you around, but you had headphones on and you were plugged into a laptop. Yes, yeah, sorry, I have to work, I can't talk now, no, don't have the time, I'm really sorry, I can't do it. The next time you were standing next to a spin dryer that was making a lot of noise and again this person was trying to talk and you're saying it's too loud, I, I just can't, I can't talk to you right now, it's way too loud, it'll have to be another time. And eventually this person just went, left the apartment and went. Now, Saj, I don't know whether or not you um, find yourself in some kind of eye of the storm. <laughs> and this is you thinking, yeah, I really don't want to talk about this. I really don't want to know. I'm really just, it's not something I want to get involved with, right? Or someone feels as if you're avoiding an important conversation because you just can't face it. Whatever this is, Sag, it's been annoying you, it's been irritating you, you just wish that this person would go away, or you just wish to have a little bit of peace and quiet. Let's get into this and find out what this is all about, my Sag. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Now, the deck that I'm using is the Legacy of the Divine. Everything you need, guys, is down below as per usual. The link to my website if you'd like a reading, all the decks, and the link to join the channel if you're interested in membership. So, my Sag, what is going on? We will find out. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Sagittarians. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is mid-June 2024. Mid-June 2024. What do we have for my lovely Sages? Sag, it's as if you've got so many other things to think about, so much on your plate, you just don't need this. But it may well be, Sag, you have to have this conversation so it's just done, right? Because I don't think this person is going to leave you alone. Hmm... They're not going away, Sag. They're not letting this go. They they, they want to talk is what I'm getting. <sighs> and I get it, guys. I'm Sag rising. I get it. Okay. Wow. Nine of swords. I almost feel as if you're wanting to protect yourself. Lock the doors. Lock the windows. I'm hearing someone's on the warpath. Okay, yeah, Sag, there's something you just either don't want to face or you don't want to, I'm hearing open up this can of worms again. Okay. Mm. You're not sleeping at the moment, Sag. You're not sleeping. Temperance, yeah? It's as if you're trying to keep your cool, you're trying to stay nice and balanced, you're trying not to let this affect you, but it is. It's really affecting you. You may feel as if you have been coasting. Maybe this is you avoiding a conversation. I know I have been coasting. I have just kind of brushed this under the carpet. I feel, Sag, you need to... Take a deep breath and have a sit down and have a chat with whoever this is because they either want to get something off their chest or this is someone who has a question for you, but you just don't want to answer it, you know? Bless you. Okay. In the past, Sag, oh, wow, ten of wands. Yeah. You may have had a lot on your plate. You could have been dealing with 
a lot of duties, responsibilities, a lot of work. It's as if, oh, I've got to struggle on on my own here. It's not easy. After that time, Sag, with a page of cups, you may have received an apology from someone who may have made life a bit difficult for you. Or you may have had to deal with a child and it was stressful. It could even be dealing with somebody immature, Sag, in your life that you really didn't want to have to deal with, you know? In your thoughts now, oh, wow, okay, Ten of Swords. Sag, either you feel betrayed or you're thinking about a very painful ending which has you up at night, sleepless nights, you know? Okay. You may have felt, this is the last thing I need to deal with now, you know, why is this happening? In the immediate future, the Knight of Wands. Sag, you're going to have this conversation, but this is you fired up. I am noticing a volcano behind you. Maybe, Sag, something happened which made you angry or something erupted out of nowhere and you didn't want to face it before. You may be facing it in the immediate future. It could be you just want to calm everything down. It could be you want to put your opinion to someone, your side of the story to someone. But you are embracing this because you know, Sanj, it's not just going to go away. You're embracing it. You don't want to, but you're doing it. It's as if you're charging into the fray. OK, if we have to battle this out, let's do it. In your fears, the emperor. Whoa, OK. Sanj, you may be fearing a conversation with an emperor. Now, this could be your husband, it could be your father, it could be your boss, someone in authority you're very nervous about having a conversation with. In the environment is the hangman. So in the environment, Sag, is someone who feels stuck. Someone may be struggling financially. They've got coins falling out of their pockets. They feel tied to a situation and they don't quite know what to do I don't know why I'm hearing the words the mother load the mother load sad you could even be having a difficult conversation with your mother I don't know In your hope, Sag, hoping for the Four of Wands, hoping for stability, hoping that everything's going to calm down, hoping that you can continue to feel stable, you can continue to feel relaxed, you can continue to not have to worry about the future, is what I'm hearing. The outcome. Two Swords. Wow. Sag, you may be opening up to have a conversation with someone and then when it's done, you are going to block this person or you're just going to shut the door. It's as if I'm going to talk to you about this, but after I talk to you about this, we're not discussing it ever again, ever again. All right. In your energy, Seven of Swords. Oh, okay, Sag. What did you do? Six of Cups. Okay. Sagi, that's your energy. Now, Sag, you may just have been avoiding a conversation based on the past. Or there may have been something that you did which caused disruption, something you did in the past, which caused disruption. And this is now being brought up again and you just can't face talking about it. Whoever sat in the hangman energy, the queen of swords, this is the person that wants to talk. This is someone who 
is a bit cold with you. They could be an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. This is someone who is wanting to talk to you about facts, figures, contracts, documents. They're not going to let this go. This is someone who feels a very strong disconnect from you. Again, I'm hearing the mother load. Okay. The star. This is someone who is trying to remain balanced or trying to remain calm. They could be an Aquarian female. But it's as if they're losing patience because they are stuck. Sad, you may have the answer to the problem or you may have the ability to calm everything down. But because you're so stressed about this, you're coming in sort of in warrior mode. You're sort of in fight mode when actually, Sag, you need to come in in an understanding, relaxed energy because someone here feels stuck in a situation and it's as if they may feel you just don't want to talk about it. You don't want to discuss it. It's done. It's over with. You want to speak your piece and then you're going to block them, which Sag is... Mm, I'm not going to say not the right thing to do, but it could be a reaction from you because you've been up at night thinking about this, stressing about this, thinking about the Ten of Swords. Now, you may have every single right in the world, Sag, to be angry with someone. But if this is a situation that needs to be resolved, anger is not the right emotion to come in with. It's what I'm getting here, guys. Hmm. Now it could be completely switched, right? You know that. Underneath the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So, Sag, you may have been looking at your savings. You could have saved up quite a lot of money. Seven out of ten pentacles, you got saved. You're also looking at the past. With the energy of the Fool, you may have sort of felt quite excited that you had a brand new start you might have thought okay yay i can move forward into a new cycle life is good and then you were hit with a king of swords which is um sad we need to have a talk we need to have a talk about strategy we need to have a talk about documents we need to discuss legalities uh we need to have a really serious conversation and I think, Sag, your reaction to that was Four of Pentacles. No, I don't want to talk. No, I'm too busy. Yep, yeah, can't we discuss this another time? Hanging on to your money and not wanting to, I'm hearing face the music. Okay, not wanting to face the music. All right. Okay, guys, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Saji, Queen of Wands underneath that. Now, I feel as if I'm connecting with a masculine Sag, but you could be a feminine. All right. Sag, someone may have found out about the Queen of Wands. All righty. Yeah. OK, let's get into this. Archangel Michael, what is the energy for my Sagis? Why are they sat in the Nine of Swords and the Temperance card? Now, you may be stressed because you may have been sitting on a decision for a long time and someone here is getting a bit antsy about that. Come on, Sag, we need to make a decision. And this is you sitting in an avoidant energy, not wanting to talk, not wanting to make a decision. Or you've been trying to sort of keep your cool, but inside you've been feeling really stressed about this. Really worried about the consequences or something like that. All right, Saji. So what have we got for you guys? Wow, Queen of Wands. So Saj, you may, as a masculine, have been worried that a partner found out about the other woman. And you've been very nervous about this. This could be somebody who wants to know the truth. Who was the other woman? When did it happen? Right. If you're a feminine Saj, you're feeling very defensive. You've got this wand right in front of you as if you're ready to fight. You're in self-protection mode. You're in self-protection mode. What is your energy, Saji? What's your energy? 
Ace of Cups. Sag, you may have been coasting, trying to sit in self-love, but it may have been tricky. Because Scorpio energy there, I feel as if there's a whirlwind of stress happening around you. I'm getting a sense almost that, you know, you're locked in your bedroom, but people are banging on the bedroom door. Come on, Sag, come out. We want to talk to you. We want to discuss this. It's really important. And this is you saying nothing. You don't even want them to know that you're in there. You know, it's that sort of energy. You could be thinking Sagittarius of changing your life by moving towards a Queen of Wands to offer her love. So this could be you on the rocks with a partner about to talk about divorce, but your partner's angry because she found out there was another woman in the mix. Could be that. Or Sag, you don't want to face transforming a situation because you're in self-protection mode. I don't want to make any changes because things are good for me. You know, things are good for me. I don't want to change anything. Yeah. It's a tough one. So what are you thinking about, Saji? The Empress. So, Saj, as a masculine, you may be thinking that you want to end things with your partner who could be coming through as an Empress. You'd be the Emperor. In which case, you're fearful or standing your ground and letting your empress know that you want to be with another woman. If, Sag, you're sitting in the energy of the empress, then this is you as an older woman trying to keep your cool, but you may be fearing having a conversation with someone who is of the same age, maybe somebody who wants to take control and you don't want them to take control, but you're fearing that this is someone who may twist your arm somehow and you're nervous, you're stressed. Could even be you as a single mom. This could be, you know, the father of your kids or something like that. Afraid that they want you to make a change, maybe to child support and you can't face it because you can't afford that. There's something going on here about a power struggle a painful ending, someone wanting to talk about legalities documents, somebody feeling stuck and you just not wanting to talk about this, not wanting to talk. OK, Knight of Swords. Sad. not only do you not want to talk, but you're in fight mode. I mean, this is you defending yourself, putting your side of the story to someone um, upset about this. But why do I feel as if deep down you're in this fight mode because you don't want to face the music? I keep hearing that. I keep hearing music in my head. You don't want to face the music. You don't want to see somebody else's point of view or you don't want to have to face an ending or you're desperately hanging on to something sad and somebody feels that you need to let go. And you don't want to let go. You could be trying to hang on to a partner, Sag. Right? You may be trying to hang on to a partner here. You don't want to let go of a partner. But they want you to consider detaching from them. And you can't face it. Guys. Okay. So in the past, Sag, Ten of Wands, you felt really burdened about something. Okay, you felt burdened about an ending. You felt burdened about an ending. And a lot of arguments. So there may have been a lot of arguments about ending a situation, Sag. You may not have wanted to end a situation, but somebody else wanted to. And again, you were in fight mode, you know, no, I don't want this to end. I don't want this cycle to close out. I don't want to move into the next chapter of my life. No, no, you know, you were hanging on to this. 
but it became very stressful because there were arguments that ensued. After that time, either you tried to make a small apology to someone or somebody may have apologised to you for causing problems. With a page of cups, there may have been a child in the mix. There may have been a child in the mix. What was the page of cups, Michael, in the immediate past for Sag? Okay, nine of wands. There was a heavy burden and a struggle here, either to do with an apology or to do with a child. What was the stress about? A difficult message of truth. Again, it could have been about a child or from a child. Another page. Or Sag, you were stressed out because of something someone saw or something someone found out and you went straight into self-protection mode. Not wanting to talk about this. So Sag, either you found out a difficult message of truth about someone and you didn't quite know what to do, or someone spied on you and found out something, and this person is angry, they're wanting to talk, right? Hmm, guys, now, Ten of Swords. Saggy, I'm so sorry. What is the Ten of Swords all about for Sag, Michael? The Six of Pentacles. Sad, you may be in a situation where somebody wants to get divorced and you don't want to go through divorce. It might be because you're worried about losing financial stability, I've got to be honest. Or you felt betrayed by someone because they gave to someone else. And this is you angry. What else are you thinking about, Sag? The sun... What you're thinking about, Sag, is there was some enlightenment about breadcrumbing and the Ten of Swords, which you're now thinking about. You may have felt betrayed by someone who lived at a distance or betrayed by a Leo. What was the enlightenment all about? What did, wow, cars are flying. What did Sag find out? Four of Cups. That someone, Sag, wasn't happy or something you found out made you really unhappy. Now, these came out. Wow. All right. We've got the devil and the four of swords. Sag, you may have had some kind of connection to a Capricorn. Or what you've been thinking about is a toxic situation. That has made you very unhappy. And you don't quite know what to do. You know, how do I manage this? What do I say? I don't know what to say. Well, Sarge, if you don't know what to say, it may be that's why you just don't want to talk. Because maybe you don't know what to say. All right. So, guys, let's have a look at the Knight of Wands. And the hangman. Now, Sag, you may feel angry. You may be charging towards someone to have a really serious conversation. Or you may be admitting, Sag, to a queen of swords that you did have an affair in the past with someone. So you could be a masculine, Sag, needing to have a conversation with a queen of swords. And you don't really want to speak the truth. And the truth, Sag, may well be that, um, yeah, there was infidelity in the past. This is someone just wanting to know who this person was, why it happened, you know, this sort of thing. So let's get timing. Archangel Michael, when do we have the Knight of Wands and the Hangman in the immediate future for Sag? Thank you, Michael. OK, I'm actually hearing the 28th of June. So maybe in a couple of weeks, Sag, all right. That's the only day coming through. Tw okay, Michael's now telling me the 6th of July, 28th of June to the 6th of July. All right, now, Sag, you, I think, are facing the music. 
or you are needing to have a serious conversation with someone to get everything out on the table. Now, Sag, I don't want to place blame. It could be you're in protective mode because you know you did something and you're having to say, OK, hand in the air. Yes, I did it. It could be that you feel wronged by someone else and that's why you're angry. It could be someone who did something to you, all right? So I'm going to be as neutral as I can in this because all of you guys will be in different situations. So Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the hangman all about? Justice. So we've got Pisces energy there, Libra energy there. Somebody, Sag, may want to talk to you about a contract. With the energy of justice, somebody here may want justice and you're angry about this. Or somebody wants to talk to you about a relationship. Or somebody, Sag, may be wanting to divorce. Who is that in the energy of justice? Okay, Sag, page of wands. This is someone who either has a bright idea, it could be how to fix a situation, or this is someone who basically is sending you an angry message. And you're meeting them with angry messages too. All right, what is this person saying? Yeah, wow, they want to talk. Okay, eight of wands is, we need to have a serious conversation here, Sag. I feel this is someone angry and it's almost as if you're rushing in angry too out of a sense of wanting to protect yourself, you know? What is this person talking to you about? Money, eight of pentacles, needing to put effort into something financial. What is this person wanting to talk to you about? Two of Wands. Okay, Sag, I think this is someone who is saying to you, Sag, you can't push this under the carpet anymore. We need to talk to you or I want to talk to you. I feel this is someone who feels as if every time they try to have a conversation with you, you've said, I'm busy, I'm working, I'm busy, I'm working, leave me alone. This is someone who's now getting angry about that. We need to talk about this. And this is you thinking, hell no, I don't want to talk about this, right? Because what they're saying is, we've been waiting to talk to you or I want to have a conversation with you and you keep pushing me away. I cannot make a decision unless we have a conversation. So this is someone, Sag, standing at crossroads. It's as if they can't move or they can't make a decision themselves unless they get an answer from you or something like that. And it could be sad relating to ending a relationship or it could be about a contract or money. What is this person saying? Five of Pentacles. OK, this is someone either stressed out financially. As in they want to talk to you about money and you don't want to talk about money. It may be they want money from you and you're thinking, hell no, don't want to give this person any money. Or it could be with the Five of Pentacles, they're upset because they feel left out in the cold from you, maybe following an affair, and they want to talk to you about ending the relationship, but you're hanging on to it. You don't want to end it. It could go so many ways, guys. What is the Five of Pentacles for this person? They're heartbroken. They're heartbroken. Sag. What is the Three of Swords? Judgment. Now that is your card, Sag. They either want you to face Judgment Day for something you did and you don't want to talk about it. Or they're needing to make a really serious decision and it could be about a contract. It could be about money. It could be about a relationship. But without communication from you, they can't do it. Let's have a look at your energy, Saji. What energy are you sat in? Now, I think you're coming in with a sort of fighting energy because you're either 
I've got to be honest, Sad, you're either feeling guilty and you're covering up the guilt with anger, right? Or this is you coming in angry because you feel this person is totally out of order and you feel upset because you feel betrayed, right? What are you saying to this person, Saji? The magician. You're in full manifestation mode here. You're trying to manifest something. What are you trying to manifest? What are you trying to manifest? Moving to calmer waters. Okay, now Saj, if you are trying to manifest peace and calm in a situation, you shouldn't be flying in with this anger, right? Because <laughs> it's not going to help anyone. This is you trying to manifest moving to calmer waters, but you're coming in angry. What is your energy, Serge? Yeah, you're being defensive. Okay. It's almost as if you don't want to have to talk about this. You don't want to take control of this. You're really angry. You're putting up defenses. Leave me alone. I don't want to discuss this. But someone here feels as if they can't make a decision without your say-so or... They want you to face judgment day and you don't want to do it. Or this is someone who wants answers about a third party. And what you're saying is, I'm angry that you're talking about this. Just leave me alone. Just, I just want to sit in peace and calm. But this person is not going to let this go. And so sad, you've got no option but to talk. But all I'm getting here is a lot of defensive energy and anger. Now, Sad, you may have every right to be angry, but if you want this to calm down, you need to change your energy. OK, let's have a look at the Seven of Wands. What are you angry about? What are you fearful about here, Sad? OK, the moon. Sad, what you're angry and fearful about in equal measure is an unknown future. Or something that you're hiding. It could be relating to a Cancerian for some of you with the moon. What are you fearful about? What are you hiding here, Sag? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. You're fearful of moving forward into a new cycle. Or you're fearful of losing financial stability. What are you saying to this person, Saj? You're just tired, you're weary, you're drained, you've had enough of this. This is you fearing losing, Saj. It's as if you're feeling defeated. You feel that whatever you say, this person is not going to go away. They've got a bit between their teeth. They have something to say. They want your answer or they want, a, or they want your take on this. And it's as if you can't defend yourself anymore because you know you have to take control. So, Saj, up until now, your viewpoint has been not talking about this, avoiding the conversation, not being anywhere near this person, if at all possible, working your socks off so you can say to somebody, I'm busy working, don't disturb me. And then coming in with anger when they confront you about this. But you want to move to calmer waters. So what the divine is saying, Sag, is balance your emotion. Okay? Because right now you're on an emotional roller coaster. You're thinking about the nine of swords, the ten of swords. You're thinking about anger, being defensive. This is you saying something cutting and just running off in the opposite direction. Whereas I feel this person is actually sitting in a very calm energy. They just want to have a conversation with you. And I think this is you, Sag, thinking to yourself, OK, I accept defeat. I have to surrender and I have to have this conversation with whoever this is. Could be somebody you've just had a massive falling out with. 
and they want to know what really happened. And this is you not wanting to talk about the truth, maybe. Or this is you hanging on to a partnership, Sag, with everything you've got. I don't want to talk about divorce. I don't want to talk about letting go of my stability. No, no, no. But this is someone who may feel you guys have come to the end of the road. And this is you just not wanting to accept it. Because down here, Sag, you're fighting um, to keep a cycle going. This is you not wanting to close out a cycle, right? Yeah. Let's have a look at the energy between you two. This is a bit of a tough read, Sag. I'm sorry. Five of Swords. All right. Now, this is sabotage. This is rushing in, saying something a bit cutting and then leaving again. I feel this has been an on off difficult situation for quite a long time. Both of you may have your own opinions about this. Both of you may feel you're in the right. I think what the divine is saying is both of you need to look at each other's perspectives, look at each other's opinions and try to reach some sort of compromise. I feel whoever is sat in the Queen of Swords, even though she's a bit frosty, right, with you, she's ready to compromise because she has to make a serious decision. I think, Sag, this is you knowing that you should compromise, but in the nicest sense, you really don't want to. You really don't want to because somehow it's stressing you out and you may have good reason. Now, the final card is a little bit challenging. Um, two swords. So, Sage, what are you saying no to? What are you blocking out? What are you saying no to? What are you blocking out? The three of cups. What you're saying no to, Sage, is, I think, playing happy families or a reconciliation with a third party because of a really difficult situation. This is you wanting to be authentic. I'm not going to pretend that I'm happy about this. I'm not going to pretend that there's peace between us because there isn't. And what you're thinking about is, I just want to cut free of this. Or Sag, you have someone here who is asking you about what happened, talking to you about potential divorce. And what you're saying is no. What you're planning on doing is cutting out a third party. So if you are in a situation, Sag, where you had a fling with someone, you were found out, whether you're male or female, and this is your partner or this is someone moving towards you to say, we need to have a talk about this. The only response from you is going to be, OK, I surrender. It did happen, but I'm no longer talking to a third party. So can we just drop it? That may well be what you're saying. What else are you saying here, Sag? The Ace of Pentacles. All right. Sad, you may be talking about a brand new start. You may be talking to your partner about moving somewhere different, fresh, clean slate. You may be talking to someone about a lump sum of money. What is the Ace of Pentacles all about? Chariot, okay. So Sad, you may be talking to someone about moving, relocating. You may be talking to a Cancerian about patching a situation up. There is progress here, Sag. There is progress. There is progress. Three of Pentacles. Sagi, I'm getting a sense here that everything is calming down. With the Three of Pentacles, you seem to be working with someone to patch up the foundation of a connection. You're working in partnership with someone. It may be sad you didn't have a choice. It may be sad this is you mending a relationship, a romantic connection. It could be to do with a family dynamic and money. Ten of Cups. 
If you are able to do this, and you may not want to talk any more about this, but you may say to somebody, yes, I'll talk about moving, or yes, I'll talk about money. This is actually going to be to your benefit, because in opening the door to have this important conversation that might have been sensitive, it might have been awkward, you didn't want to talk about it, it is actually going to put you into the energy of the Ten of Cups. Everything's going to calm down. There's going to be happiness and peace restored. And sad, you may never have to talk about this again. That's what I'm feeling. Now, Saj, if this is a romantic connection and your partner's been talking to you about wanting to get divorced because you had a fling, something like that, and guys, it could be reversed, then what you're saying to your partner is, I am never going to speak to the other person ever again. I've blocked the third party. I want to put effort into the relationship. I want to patch things out with you so we can move back into the Ten of Cups. And this is your partner, Sag, forgiving you. Peace is being restored because you're basically doing the right thing, you know? All righty. What else do we have for Sag? You're doing the right thing is what I'm getting here. Overall, overall, whatever this pertains to be, you're following the processes. You're acting with a sense of morality, integrity. You're doing what is right for the family or for the situation. You're working with people here, Sag, not against people, you know? Yeah. There could be a lot of happiness restored in a marriage or in a family dynamic because you're working with someone. You could be patching things up with a Taurian for some of you. What is going to happen here? Saji, this is lovely, guys. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Saj, there may be a situation here where somebody is very grateful. With the Queen of Pentacles, you could be talking to a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn about financial stability. I'm feeling a massive sense of peace. What are you guys talking about? The Page of Pentacles. Sad, you may be given a large amount of money for a child because you did the right thing. This could be someone who is thanking you for working in partnership. And because you're working in partnership, there could be money for a child or there could be a new contract. I feel this is all going to work in your favour, Saj. This is all going to work in your favour because you've released this fear or anger or stress and you've just given into it. It's all just calming down, Saji. Lovely. The hermit. There could be a conversation with a Virgo. Or you're looking at the past, Saj, and you're looking into your future and even though you may feel like isolating yourself a little bit, what you're realising is lessons have been learned and you're feeling a sense of peace and calm. I keep getting that. I keep getting that. Do we have a final card for Sag? This has been a lovely reading, guys. Yeah, ace and ones. Sag, you are going to have a passionate new start. OK, this is inspiration. This is excitement. You guys could even be moving. This is you patching up a relationship or patching up a family dynamic. Or this is you coming clean about something, releasing the fear in talking about something. And because you're doing that, I feel as if somehow you're being rewarded. You're being rewarded for working in partnership with someone here. And it could even be financially. OK, do we have a final card for Sag? Guys, this is lovely, this reading. I'm so pleased it's gone this way. Six of Wands, yeah. Sag, you will gain recognition. 
This is people cheering you on, thanking you. You've done the right thing. You've patched things up. You're moving to calmer waters. We're really proud of you. And this is you getting some kind of victory and success. And it may come in the form of a contract or money here. Or it may be a family dynamic that you've sort of brought back together again after some issues, you know. All right, Sag, I am leaving the reading there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye now.